is something to consider. I feel like I feel like this is going to do it, Catherine. I feel like the rain and the weather might bring on another year of the Monaco curse. Yes, which is is very interesting because the Monaco curse has really not been very Monaco curse-ish the last two years. But in the grand scheme of Charles Leclerc's Formula One career, he didn't do too great in his home race. No. So he is a Monegasque driver, which means he's actually from Monaco. A lot of the drivers take up residency there, but they're not actually from Monaco. Charles Leclerc is from Monaco, and he really struggles at his home race. Yeah. In, in the first three of, of four races, he DNF'd three, three times in his first three attempts and then didn't even start the first race the, the year after. Finally managed to scrape together a P4 finish in 2022, but it was from pole. So, you, yeah. so it's not a guarantee that you're going to win from pole. And then last year he finished P6. Um, but if you count the um, 2022 Monaco Historic Grand Prix, which was before the Monaco, the F1 GP um, in 2022, um, he crashed a second time or he, he crashed. So he, he had his like streak of crashes, went to five consecutive tries on that track and then finally broke it in the Grand Prix itself a couple of weeks later. But it's like, that's not the time that you want to be crashing your car, especially when you're, I, I don't remember whose car he was driving, but it was a historic car um, of, of someone's that he put in the wall in at his, at his home. <laughs> Leave it to Leclerc to do that. Jesus. Um, yeah. But yeah, so it's but I, I'm also a little bit worried in general of Ferrari. Oh, same. 